Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of Ask a Minecrafter. I'm your host Pixelriffs and today's question comes from everyone in the world ever who asked, how do you create a Minecraft video? This is a topic I've avoided answering for a while because, as the saying goes, a good magician never reveals his secrets. However, since this is such a requested topic, I'll do my best to give you an overview of how I make Minecraft videos, which, I want to point this out here, is not how everyone makes Minecraft videos. Like fast food, PC components, or colours to paint your bedroom, there are a lot of options, and some of them will depend on how much money you have. So, let's talk technical for a minute. The basic gear you will need to make a Minecraft video is, one, a computer which is capable of running Minecraft and video capture software at the same time. Computers come in all shapes and sizes, but not all of them will have the power to let you capture game footage while you're playing. If you already have a computer which won't run Minecraft over 30 frames per second, you're probably going to struggle. Two, some video editing software. Free video editing software is actually very easy to come by. You'll find Windows Movie Maker or iMovie bundled with most PCs and Macs, and there are a bunch of other options available online. 3. If you want to record gameplay commentary, you're going to need a microphone. Even if it's just a mic built into your laptop, it will do, but you can find decent quality USB microphones or gaming headsets quite easily. So you've got a half-decent PC, some freebie software, and a microphone you borrowed from your friend. How do you actually go about making a Minecraft video? First of all, plan your content. Even if the plan is just, I'm going to log into Hypixel and play Skywars, an organised approach will usually turn out better than just winging it. This is especially true of survival gameplay and let's plays. Minecraft is such an open-ended game that you can spend hours in-game without really doing anything, and that probably won't be very interesting for people to watch. So, set yourself an objective for the video. What do you want to achieve? For me, it usually boils down to, I want to show off what I've been building off camera, explain what I want to build next, actually build some of it, and then show off the progress we've made in the video. Some of the time, this involves testing out a build in creative mode first, so I know what I'm doing and it doesn't take hours of trial and error to come up with an idea. This is all part of the planning phase. If you're new to gameplay commentary and you aren't certain you can talk confidently for the length of an entire video, think of a conversation topic and write down a couple of notes before you start recording. You don't have to script an entire episode or anything, but having something to talk about will help tie your video together and it will also encourage people to leave comments. Next comes the capture phase. For this I use OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. OBS is a program created with live streaming in mind, but it's actually really good for recording footage too, and perhaps, more importantly, it's free. I won't go into any details about my OBS settings here because it's way too technical, but if you want to learn how to use OBS, some of my friends who run Astromech Gaming have put together a bunch of really helpful tutorials. I'll put the links on screen here and in the description of this video. Other capture software is out there, some is free, some costs money. Personally, I would recommend avoid using the trial version of anything, as it usually leaves a watermark on your video which says recorded using Bandicam or whatever. It might be an easy option, but it doesn't look good, especially when programs like OBS are available. If I'm playing with other people, I typically just start the capture and leave it running, then edit the long video later. If I'm playing solo and there are long periods where I want to concentrate on building instead of talking, I'll usually stop and start the recording several times and just record the commentary segments when I'm ready to make them. This helps me keep my video structured and also saves hard drive space because video files are huge, even at lower resolutions. If you're planning to record in 1080p at 60 frames per second, you'll probably need a gigabyte of hard drive space per minute of footage. That's 60 gigabytes gone if you record for an hour. I usually stick to 720p and 30 frames because that's what my computer can handle, and unless your audience is watching your videos on a massive TV, it probably won't make much of a difference. Most people will record the audio directly into OBS from their microphone. I like to record the audio into a separate program on my laptop. That way, if my commentary is too quiet for some reason, I can add compression to even out the overall volume, or just boost the volume in the right places when I edit the video. The downside to this is that your commentary isn't automatically in sync with your gameplay like it would be if you recorded them both together. To get around this, I give myself a sync point, usually by opening the menu of whatever game I'm playing, then saying click right as I exit the menu. Of course you guys won't see that part because I edited out of the final video. Once you're done recording, it's time for the edit. I prefer using non-linear video editors, which allow you to import clips onto a timeline and then arrange them how you want, adding transitions and effects as you go. This allows me to import my audio separately and sync it up. I used Kden Live back when my computer ran on Linux. It's free software and I think it's also available for Mac. On Windows, I've mostly been using Shotcut, which is another free program, but recently I've been looking into more professional and reliable software. The amount of options and controls can be a little overwhelming if you're new to editing, so it might 
might be best to try out a few different editing programs first to see what works for you. Most of my videos don't really need much editing, since it's mostly just gameplay and commentary. I just have to edit out the sections where I'm not talking, and put fades or dissolve transitions in between the clips so the video flows together well. Something like Ask a Minecrafter needs a lot more effort since it's scripted and isn't just about gameplay. I usually record the script and footage of me standing in front of the logo first, drop that into the editing software, then go back and record clips of stuff that's relevant to each section of the video, editing them into the video as I go. After that, I add text in the places I need it, watch the video one more time to make sure it doesn't need any last minute changes, then export the video and upload it to YouTube. That's the process in a nutshell. Once you know how to do it, you just have to keep doing it. Just making a video doesn't guarantee everyone is going to watch it, but people are more likely to stick around if you upload content consistently, and more importantly, if you're having fun. Good quality is a bonus, but it's much easier to watch a bad quality video of someone having the time of their life than a 4K video of someone who just sounds bored out of their minds. And if you're lucky enough to have a following on YouTube, chances are you're still trying to find ways to improve your content, challenge yourself, and engage with your audience. And speaking of engaging your audience, now it's time to ask you. If you're a content creator, how do you make videos, and what advice would you give to someone who wants to start? Leave your tips in the comments, and feel free to suggest a topic for a future episode of Ask a Minecrafter. My name has been Pixel Riffs, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now!